Hi everybody. Um, I'm gonna try to do something a little different um, that I'm not used to because I'm so used to using the uh, Tim Holtz watercolor paper. Um, so I'm going to be using the Distress Specialty stamping paper. I bought it at Hobby Lobby. Uh, I had my coupon. I'm gonna use some Stays On Jet Black ink. Uh, Tim Holtz little watercoloring. Uh, my Stamp It Up blocks in my distress markers here and uh, I actually I think this is one of my favorite stamp sets of all time it's called the hipsters stamp set it's really cute uh, animals here so um, and this is what I did earlier because I was trying to figure out how to make the watercolors I guess with practice I'm not a pro so as you can see, I think it's shining since my son is videotaping for me. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab paper. I don't really need this, I just had it here. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is, since I did use these guys already, I think I'm going to do the kitty kitty. Hopefully if it comes out right. I'm really bad. I just used this earlier, so I haven't cleaned it off yet. So don't do as I do. I always clean them off. Um, ink it up. Now I will tell you something here that I learned earlier is that um, I ended up stamping this earlier. And you see how I did kind of like the uh, CPR technique where I really stamped it really hard and wasn't necessary. Like I said, I'm novice stamper here so you just you know hopefully that works out so I really don't doesn't matter what side of the paper I guess so let's see if we can do this one here so you just lay it on here have to do the CPR just if I make a mistake I can always use the other side of the paper wow uh, okay not too bad. So earlier I had my distress crayons, which I think these are amazing from Tim Holtz. They're not paying me to do this. I just like using their colors. And so what I did is I had already selected some colors from earlier from here. And I just decided to, I think my best friend had given me this paper here. So looking for gray, 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 I guess. I don't have as many colors as I thought I did. So many crayon colors. So I just did this. My best friend had showed me how to do this. And this actually has your colors that you want to, you can use. And I always get like a napkin, excessive water coming out. So I just do this. And then I come in here. And I just color, grab some. Now if I feel like I'm not getting enough color because I have like too much water, I'll just clean it off, grab some more, and start just painting away. And I noticed that with my other one that I did, if I wanted to make it a little darker, then I would grab some more, let it dry, do something like this and just see get the rest here and then just let it dry a little bit and it doesn't take that long to dry actually I was kind of impressed because normally you have to bring the blow dryer out or stuff and, and one thing that I did notice like say if I picked up the wrong color and I did this and I went oops nope, nope don't want that don't want that I noticed that all I have to do is get a little water on there and clean it off see kind of comes off I love that I did that earlier with here, I had gotten some um, red in the mouth here for her, and I ended up just using the water pen to do that, and it came off. 
See? Look at that, how pretty. And it does dry. It takes a little bit, um, a few moments to dry, not too long. And that's pretty much it, I think. So when you're doing these, let it dry for a little bit and then you can come back in and do it. I think I'm in love with these crayons. You see how look how how pretty that is? I don't know. I'm not a professional. I just love 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 making cards. Some of the cards that I've made recently had been like using the watercolor. This is actually I think this one here is the Tim Holtz watercolor paper. So you see that, how pretty that is there? I made these. I love making cards. And I think some of the ones that I'm actually looking forward to doing is I already had pre-cut some of these. These are the different, you can tell the different Tim Holtz paper here, the Distress specialty stamp paper versus the Tim Holtz watercolor paper. This is kind of like a smoother, rigged side, and this is the, the softer side. But I did that one, and then um, did the same thing with Tim Holtz, the dog and cat stamps. I used, anyways, so. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. It's very simple of how to use the new, or not the new, but the Distress uh, Specialty paper with the Distressed crayons. Little water pen, stays on ink, and actually having a great time with the Distress Specialty Stampin' paper. Like I said, I'd gotten it at Hobby Lobby and um, used my coupon just like we all do. Thank you for watching my video. Like it if you like it. And have a great night.